And at the end, uh, we're gonna look in how can you combine that with the section tool so you can generate very custom elevations and sections. And finally, we're gonna show you how to customize those and stylize them so you can bring those to a presentation or construction documents potentially. And you can generate your own graphics and style um, for your company or your business or your, just your projects in general, you're a freelancer or a student. So my name is Danny and this channel is mainly discussing architecture visualization for architects. So we talk about tools that are related to just architecture and how does it relate with real-time engines and AI. So if you're really into getting visualization and representation in architecture to the next level, make sure you stay connected to this channel and please subscribe one more time and we go ahead and start with the video. This is gonna be so sort of like an in-depth masterclass on how to use views in DeFi render, and specifically to do architectural drawings or just renderings, whether it's aerial, whether it's, you know, for a specific project. So make sure to, you know, go through the whole video, and really um, understand how to use these views. And if you already know exactly what you need, you feel free to skip off on and, and you know, get exactly what you need as far as the views that we're showing. But just so kind of you get an idea of where we're gonna see today, we're gonna go and really understand what uh, a perspective view is, what a parallel view is, what a two-point perspective is, uh, how to use an isonometric, how to use the align tool. And then from there, we're gonna go to section uh, section uh, tool here. Uh, and we are gonna cut sections and we are gonna generate sections or elevations that you can then render and use those either for animation or a presentation or for your architectural drawings uh, later on. The views are really helpful for uh, creating a camera, for generating a camera views and creating scenes for animations. Meaning that uh, once you have a specific camera in place, you're able to come here to the image and generate a scene. And from the scene, you're able to then create animations. Once you go to animations, if you really want some animations here and uh, once you create a clip, you add that, and then you add a specific camera from the scene that you created. So again, all that seems a little complex right now that I'm talking a little fast, uh, but right now we're gonna go through the views first. So you know how to set those up first. We'll leave that for a different video, but we're really gonna be focusing on today is really understanding in depth views, views in DeFi render. And the reason why they are very important is because a lot of times, just like any specific, um, architectural, it is really gonna help you to understand for what uh, you can really utilize DeFi Render before. 